how to solve 10 power x is equal to 20 find the value of x so we have 10 power x is equal to 20 can be written as 10 times 2 now we take log in both sides so you can write here log of 10 power x is equal to log of 10 times 2. Now, here we can apply this rule log m power r is equal to r log m. That means uh, this power r will move to the base. So, according to this rule, we can compare here this power x will move to the base. So, you can write here x log 10 is equal to log of 10 times 2. That means here we can apply this formula log of a times b is equal to log a plus log b. So, according to this formula, I can write here a log of 10 times 2, that means it will be log 10 plus log 2. Now, now we need the value of x, so we divided by log 10 in both sides. So, divided by log 10 divided by log 10. Now, this log 10, this log 10 will be cancelled. So, here x is equal to this divided by this. That means it will be same that log 10 over log 10, then plus log 2 over log 10. Now, I can write here x is equal to log 10 divided by log 10. That means this, this will be cancelled. So, here on, here on. So, on divided by on, that means it will be on. Then plus log 2 divided by log 10. That means um, it will be log 2 base 10. According to this formula, log a divided by log b is equal to log a base b. So, x is equal to 1 plus log 2 base 10. So, this is the value of x. So, this is our final answer. After that, I will solve this nice exponential equation which is x power x power 5 is equal to 100. Find the value of x. So, we have x power x power 5 is equal to 100 is same as 10 is square. Now, we multiply by power of 5 in both sides. So, multiply by power of 5, multiply by power of 5. Now, here we can apply this exponential rule that a power m bracket power n is equal to a power n bracket power m. So, I can write here x power 5 then bracket power of x to the power 5 then is equal to here I can apply this formula a power m bracket power n is equal to a power of m times n that means it will be mn. So, according to this formula I can write here 10 power 2 bracket power 5 uh, it can be written as 10 power of 2 times 5 that means it will be 10. Now, here I can apply rule that if a power a is equal to n power n. So, a will be equal to n where n is greater than or equal to 1. 
So, according to this rule, we can compare here x power 5 will be equal to 10. So, x power 5 is equal to 10. Now, we have x power 5 is equal to 10. Now, we need the value of x. So, uh, we apply fifth root in both sides. So, fifth root of x to the power 5 is equal to fifth root of 10. Now, we see this fifth root, this power 5 will be cancelled. So, here x is equal to uh, fifth root of 10 uh, is same as 10 power of 1 by 5. So, uh, 10 power of 1 by 5, this is the value of x, so this is our final answer. I will simplify this nice math problem, which is 8 power 16 plus 8 power 16 is equal to what? So, we see 8 power 16 is common, so we take common 8 power 16. So, 8 power 16 is out of the bracket, this divided by this, that means on, plus this divided by this, that means on, then bracket close is equal to 8 can be written as 2 power 3, then bracket power of 16 times 1 plus 1, that means it will be 2. We can write here. Here you can apply this formula a power m bracket power n is equal to a power of m n. So 2 power 3 bracket power of 16 that means it will be 2 power of 3 times 16 that means it will be 48 then times uh, 2 is same as 2 power on. Now we see and 2 to same um, 2 to same base 2 to same base but different power. So remember this exponential rule that a power m times a power n is equal to a power of m plus n. That means a is same base but different power. So, according to this formula, I can write here 2 power of 48 plus 1 then is equal to 2 power of 48 plus 1 that means it will be 49. So, 2 power of 49 this is our final answer. How to solve 3 power of x square is equal to 9 find the value of x. So, we have 3 power of x square is equal to 9 can be written as 3 square. Now, we see 3, 3 same base. So, 3, 3 will be cancelled. Power x square will be equal to power 2. According to this formula, a power b is equal to a power c. So, a will be cancelled. Power will be equal to power. That means, b is equal to c. Now, uh, we need the value of x. So, we apply a square root in both sides. So, a square root of x square is equal to a square root of 2. So, this is square root, this a square will be cancelled. So, here x is equal to plus or minus a square root of uh, 2. So, um, uh, plus or minus a square root of 2, uh, this is the value of x. So, this is our final answer.